Welcome back to another video and welcome to this Team of the Year Lewandowski review. If you want to try this Kai out for yourself, you actually can. Go to objectives, go to teams and you can actually pick up a loan version. You don't have to do anything, you just got to select Messi or Luan. I've picked Luan and thus I've got a loan for him. Also in this team, as you can see, we have Harry Kane. I have already reviewed him. Check out the channel if you want to see that video. If you need some coins to improve your ultimate team, the cheapest place to get them is at IG Vault, and there is a link in the description. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself an even bigger discount off your order. So we're obviously going to be focusing on Luan today. He looks like an exceptional player, as you'd expect from any Team of the Year card. Four star, four star on him, high medium wear traits, and a couple of traits. One of them being finesse shot trait, which is probably the most valuable trait in FIFA 22. Shooting looks ridiculous. You literally are not going to get any better than that up until about you know the end game time. So yeah, and even at end game, like they're not going to get much better than that. The shooting is literally. Perfect. 99 ratings for attack positioning and finishing. Also has 97 composure, which is great. And uh, some really good passing stats as well for a forward. Pace looks nice. Dribbling also looks very good. 99 reactions, 98 ball control. And the physicals are pretty, pretty incredible as well. It's a shame they didn't boost his stamina a little bit more. I feel like that, you know, would have been nice. But... It's, an, it's a fantastic card. Look, none of us are expecting this item to be good. It's just a case of, like, does he represent good value for money with his current price on the market, which, to my knowledge, is around 3 mil. Well, my knowledge is clearly lacking because he's actually 2.1 mil on PlayStation, 1.8 on Xbox, so he's cheaper than I well, initially thought. Um, in the comments below, when you're watching this video, comment what price he's at because I get the feeling his price is going to go up and then back down and then you know, just keep going down from there. This year's market is crazy. I actually wonder what his price is going to settle at after Team of the Year. Put some predictions in the comments. Anyway, chem style for this guy. Like, it's pretty obvious. This shooting doesn't need anything. You go engine dirt, yeah. You get the pace boost. You make his dribbling incredible. Make his passing incredible because his shooting and physicals are already good. So, easy chem style choice. And with a basic, he's a 99 rated striker. That's, I mean, that's what you expect from a Team of the Year, I guess. But, uh... Yeah, what a card. What a card. Well, just as I was getting into the game, I was uploading the uh, Kane review, so uh, I've kind of missed the opposition's team. But it's a nice team. It's got Flashback Pato up front and uh, a bunch of Brazilians to uh, get him chem. Good play from Goretzka there. Have we singled out the defender? Yes, we have. Luan is through for his first chance in the club. Under pressure. Does not matter. Fires home. Lovely goal from the forward. Great start. Kane out wide. Sterling goes for the early ball into the box. Luan arriving late, but just didn't quite have enough on the cross. Luan links up with Harry Kane, who puts through an interesting through ball, which Luan is going to show some good pace to get on the end. Oh, oh, that's my bad. I took an extra touchdown. I shouldn't have. I saw the keeper movement as well, and I should have gone early with a chip. Luan in some space. Hands it off to Harry Kane, who should have scored. But Luan, nice finish from a tight angle. Love that. Let's go. break away from the corner here. As Kane goes along with a through ball, Luan in pursuit. Luan with the strike. Oh, what a goal that would have been. Goretzka. Oh, how has that gone in? How has that gone in? Left footed strike from Luan bounces in off the post into the back of the net. How has that one actually gone in? Opportunity. Kane whips into the back stick. And Luan wins the header but just can't quite convert from there. Kane. Plenty of space. Picks out a ball. Finds Luan. Oh, save. Okay, at the break. 3 0 and three goals from Robert Lewandowski. Bruyne into Luan, who will link up nicely with Harry Kane. These two link up really well and create a chance. Love that from Luan. Oh, good save. Nice play from Luan. Puts the ball through for Harry Kane. Can he get on the end of this? Oh, that's my bad again. I tried to go a touch too far. Chance on the break. Love that. Oh, first time shot and it slides under the keeper. And randomly, in the 88th minute, my opponent quits. But, uh, yeah, we get the win. Plenty of goals to Luan. Happy days. Time to play another game then. And we face a very solid-looking Premier League side with a random Tio Hernandez in at left-back. Okay, goes long. It's going to find Luan, who's going to have to make a run wide here. How is he on the wing? Shows some good strength to hold off his man. Gets it back on the inside. Harry Kane, who gets the shot away, sadly blocked. Oh, Luan does well to win the ball. Puts the ball into the box. Harry Kane with a chance. Sterling into the path of Luan, who does not miss chances like that. On the turn as well. Like, just a brilliant finesse to make it 
Okay, 1-1 one, one at the break. Annoying to be level, but we'll bring this back, I believe. Out to Alessandrini. Returns the ball back to the Polish forward. Who gets it into the box for Goretzka, who should score. I should have had a bit more patience with the shot. Alessandrini with the pass into Luan, who is now in behind. Lots of space for him as well. Lots of space for him. Angle is tight, but it will not matter. Outside the foot shot finds the back of the net. Finds the ball safely out wide to Alessandrini. Finds Kane. Luan, good footwork, finds Kitten. Oh, I died panic shot. That's me panicking again. I went way too early. I take a touch there, I score. Lovely. Lovely. Doesn't matter anyway, because Luan just so clinical. Here we go then. On the break, late into the game. Lewandowski got himself a bit of space. I'm going to go myself no matter what. I'm going to go myself no matter what, and that's because I've got confidence in this guy. So time for one more in this game. The opponent has definitely gone on constant pressure. Now Harry Kane's got to run through the middle. Harry Kane's got to run through the middle. Oh, he's going to tackle me. My bad. Oh, chance. I've bottled it. I've scored it. That's a horrible goal. And I did my best to bottle that, but <laughs> eventually we score. And there's full time. Nice 5-2 victory. And, uh, yeah, match ball for Lewandowski. Love to see it. Okay, then. Time is up with Luan in my club. I know I should really play another game, but... Kinda want to keep the Lund variant just in case there's a Bundesliga objective in the future. So, uh, yeah, we're going to finish it two games. But nonetheless, we tried him out and he is exceptional up front. Like, you're not going to get a better finisher than this card in the game. He's not like, you know, out and out number one by himself. But, like, he's joint number one with players like that flashback game, Kane, who is also just ridiculous in front of goal. The only thing that... Um, Luan doesn't have compared to some of the other top tier strikers is a 5 star weak foot but even with that said his left foot's very very good so yeah joint number one like goal scorer in the game he really really is and he's got brilliant run making and very very good pace so as long as you're willing to put in the work you're going to score goals with this card because he's just so damn clinical and I've got to say the pace actually felt very very good in game as well and you'll see that in the footage he does actually have a nice breakaway ability which is obviously fantastic passing more of the same awesome for a striker um yeah can definitely hold up play really really well and not that you should but like team the cards they're that stacked in stats that this guy could play anywhere in attack whether it be striker center forward on the wing he could do it all he could even do a job at cam because his passing stats are that good would i advise him there no he's a much better striker but that's the kind of level of card we're obviously dealing with right here then we come on to the physicals which are very very good like zero complaints there like no surprise um stamina obviously i would prefer it to be a bit better but for 90 minutes he was absolutely fine possibly though if you go to extras you, you maybe want to sub him off. It's a shame about the stamina not being better, but it's definitely not terrible. As long as you don't run with him too much, he'll be absolutely fine. And then we come on to the dribbling, which we'll end on. How is that dribbling ability? I actually think quite good. For someone of his height, for his body type, I actually think quite good on the ball. There were some occasions, I will add, where his first touch didn't feel that great. But other than that, did feel decent on the ball for me. And I enjoyed just having the ball with the guy because I knew I was going to you know create a chance or at least, you know, score a goal because he's just that damn good like in space he is just so lethal i don't think i have to go too in depth here but he is without doubt the best bundesliga striker you're going to get in fifa 22 right now um yeah he just has the whole package doesn't he compared to everyone else who seems to have a bit of an issue with them like kerman although he is very very good nowhere near as clinical Haaland, once again although he is very very good nowhere near at, at good at dribbling and yeah this this luan is just so so good in game um but obviously in comparison to some other strikers look i obviously haven't tried team of the year mbappe but like i've used normal mbappe and i know how good that card is like the edge that mbappe will have over luan is obviously the fact that he's got a five star skill move set and he's going to feel better on the ball is he going to be as uh, good in front of goals luan maybe not i'm saying maybe because obviously i haven't used mbappe yet um but like mbappe is going to have the better dribbling set but other than the dribbling, like compared to other, compared to like all the other high tier uh, players in the game, Luan is right up there with them and better than most of them. Like I cannot get over how clinical this guy was for me. His physicals are great, and yeah, the pace felt good. The pace actually felt really, really good on a Luan card for once. So uh, yeah, I'll say this as well. I don't think two million coins is a bad price for him either. Like he might come down when an upgrade packs hit. And he could actually end up being like a really good price, especially in this year's market where players are just super, super cheap. So yeah, going to be interesting to keep an eye on this guy's price. Anyway, I'm a big fan of the card. And if you've tried him out, let me know how you get on with him in the comments below. Guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.